Intel shows off 16 core 22 threads Meteor Lake CPU in generative AI content demo. PNY and Cooler Master introduces 4.5 slot GeForce RTX 4090 Virto GPUs. MSI has a simple solution for 2LV HPWR cable problems. And lastly, ASUS has revealed the first GeForce RTX 4070 GPU that does not require any power cables. This is TechTrack. So first of all, we have computer-based reporting this Intel Meteor Lake CPU that has been tested and basically showcased by Intel themselves. And well, we have a clear picture of their first flagship, probably is the flagship, is the 16-core 22-threads processor. And as you can see right here, this is the utilization that we're looking at is 16% only and the speed is 1.58, probably the early sample or probably the only sample available for their uh, testing, I guess. But... Anyway, like the base speed we're looking at is 3.1, which is yeah possible. We also have a core core count of 16, kind of makes sense. And of course, the logical processors is 22, so it kind of tells you that it's going to be eight uh, performance core and eight efficiency core, because you know the logical processors don't really make sense if it is 16 core. So obviously, the logical processor is 22, meaning that it has to be eight performance cores and eight you know efficiency core. But we don't know if this is the flagship or not, but Looking at the you know previous generation or after Lake, obviously that should be the case, right? We also have the cache numbers here, and L1 cache 1.6, L2 would be 18, and of course L3 is 24 megabytes. So these are some confirmation that we're getting for Mitchell Lake specs here. And as you can see that they uh, demonstrated their generative AI content, basically. I don't know what that is actually, but we will see more of that. And well, basically, as you can see, the AI, you know, performing, that they're using the blurring system, like... uh. You're comparing basic blur and advanced blur and in advanced blur yeah that it's more accurate you know they're utilizing the ai to have a better blurring technique i guess and we also get to see the overview from intel for the major meteor lake overview here so let's look into it like the next gen power management they have some kind of feature well something like you know the preferred uh you know introduced already but i think this is more advanced so we'll see about that you also have new built-in intel r graphics so that kind of confirms that Intel is going to be putting the Arc uh, iGPUs into the processor. So that's really nice. And of course, the new integrated AI engine that was they were showcasing. So that's the roadmap here, basically. Performance hybrid, that uh, that was the uh, Alder Lake and the Raptor Lake that they introduced. The hybrid structure. Now we are looking into the disaggregated, which is Meteor Lake and Arrow Lake. First one, of course, being the Meteor Lake. Arrow Lake will be coming maybe in 2026 or 2025. Who knows? But we'll see about that. So yeah. Uh, Mutual Lake will be the beginning of their this uh, of power efficiency and AI scaling that they're introducing. And of course, the next one would be Lunar Lake and beyond. Well, that's going to be the leadership performance. So that's the roadmap we're looking at. And of course, they also introduced the AI workloads, cloud to clients. So yeah, that kind of makes sense. So for now, we we know about this, these specs for the, you know, the flagship Meteor Lake processor. We'll know about more of this and of course the AI integration. Next up, we have BenchLive.info reported this. The Virto ARGB dual fan with 4.5 slots PNY has showcased these two GPUs right here. So the first one being the normal generic design, well, they're going for the XLR8, I believe that is the naming. The Virto XLR8 PNY GPU, that's the RTX 4070, or I should say 4090, not 4070. RTX 4090, and we also have another RTX 4090, but this one is... Uh, it looks like a cooperation with Cooler Master here, just like the RTX 4080 Noctua edition, but this one is for, from the Cooler Master. And they're going for their Cooler Master look, of course, because as you can see, the, these are the Cooler Master fans, and the look is kind of is the same. So yeah, this is the PNY cooperating with Cooler Master to make this GPU. I wonder if this is good enough and you know, it can compete against the Noctua edition, you know? Because, you know, now we're looking into some cooperate cooperation, so I kind of like that. And not only that, they also introduce these two SSD coolers here. Yeah, it is. it sounds crazy, but that is the case. This is these two... Uh, coolers that you're looking at is basically for SSDs and both of them have fans included. So yeah, SSDs also needs cooler nowadays, it seems like. Well, why we already know why, because, you know, the newer generation SSDs are quite hot. Next up, we have an interesting story here. Overclock 3D has reported this, uh, that MSI has a novel solution to 12 VHW uh, PWR cable insertion problem. So there was, uh, well, a story back in 2022 where, you know, RTX 4090 users were facing this uh, burnout issue for their 
cable, which is the 2LV HPWR cables. And the, the sole reason they were facing that problem was that it wasn't inserted properly. And well, MSI has, well, I don't know why people didn't think about this before, but now I guess they are bringing in it. But yeah, MSI has found this as found a solution basically, or, or not really a solution, rather a, well, a defense mechanism more like, because you know, this is, as you can see right here, it's marked with yellow color. And when you insert that right here, as you can see, when you insert it, if this yellow, you know, connectors are visible, that means that it is not con inserted properly. So to properly insert it, you need to have those yellow connectors to be completely go in and not be visible. So that is their, well, an insert insertion method that they're suggesting that if you uh, follow this guideline, then you will have no risk of, you know, burning burning out your 12V HDPWR cables here. But yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense. I mean, why, I don't know why there wasn't, you know, the thought process didn't come before, but now they're bringing it. It kind of makes sense why they're bringing it, because, you know, the more cases of burnout issues that we'll be, we were seeing, the melted VH, 12 VHPWR connections were, you know, not really a great deal for the gamers out there. So obviously, for users' perspective, this is such a good uh, way to, you know, tackle this issue, because... You know, that, that yellow colored connectors, if they're not visible, then you're good to go. But if they are, then you should look into it again. So yeah, before you get into the new story here, I would like to subscribe and of course, like the video and share. And yeah, that helps a lot. So let's move into the next one. And lastly, we have a very interesting, interesting GPU we are looking at here. And this is an Asus RTX 4070. That's right. This is a their newest launch RTX 4070, but it has a weird uh, caveat here and that is that it doesn't have any power connector well it does have a power connector but you don't really require any wires for that which is very interesting because if you look into right here we have a proprietary lane here as you can see this is a uh, well a pci well i would i shouldn't say it's a pcie connection but i don't know what that connection is but they have a proprietary connection here as you can see and you, as you can clearly see there's no cable going in and out so yeah it's it, it is clear that it doesn't require any power right well no not really but they do require power from that proprietary connection that we mentioned and right here as you can see that connection goes inside this motherboard's lane here this is this is the lane that goes inside well basically this is not a lane this is the 12 VH the PWR connection exactly this connection is literally inserted into the motherboard so that this GPU can just go slot in right just like that so yeah basically you would require a motherboard that support this connection to have this GPU well yeah it's gonna cost a lot for sure and though it looks very clean I like this process and I think every GPU should do this because you know there's literally no need to worry about the cable management and, and and really i really hate the dongle that comes out from you know it just looks weird so this is more of a clearer picture here that's that's the connection we're looking at and that's the pcie or i shouldn't call that pcie because it's not really the pcie connection but yeah that's basically uh, uh supplying 600 watts and that's good enough for rtx 4070 so only single of them can uh, provide two uh 600 watts which is equivalent to the 12 VHCVWR. basically that is the connection and yeah that's the way to do it for this gpu and the motherboard here for testing they're using the asus z790 tough gaming atx motherboard here and yeah these are the motherboards that they also showcase that is going to be working with this gpu in particular because obviously not all gpu will support this right because you need this connection and also in the motherboard so a very selective amount of motherboards are available for a very selective amount or i should say the only gpu in the whole market to have this connection so i kind of like this approach here and it also you know eliminates a lot of risk 